In this video, I'm going to show you on how to add dynamic fields to contact form 7 here on WordPress. So if you want to know how to do it, just keep on watching. So first of all, what you need to make sure is you have the contact form 7 plugin on your dashboard. So to do that, just go ahead and click on the link right over here because I already created a video on how you can do that. Okay, so let's continue. So now what you need to do next is to add another plugin, okay? So to do that, go to the plugin section right over here and then click on add new plugin. So once you are here, what you need to do is to search for contact form 7. That's contact form 7. Dynamic text extension. Okay, so just go ahead and search that. And this is the plugin that we need. So click on install and activate it as well. Okay, so once it is activated, just go ahead and refresh your page. Then go to the contact section. Okay, so here once you are now here, just go ahead and click on the edit button under the contact form that you want to use okay so as you can see we have this dynamic options right over here okay so now what you need to do is to just go ahead and start editing your contact form so let me just go ahead and show to you on what it looks like so this is my contact form okay so let's go back right over here and now for example, I want to add a dynamic hidden, okay? So to do that, just go ahead and click on it and put the dynamic value, the name. And for the ID attribute and class attribute, you can just go ahead and leave that. But if you know more about CSS, you can just go ahead and fill this section right over here, okay? So let me just go ahead and create one. So I'm going to put it right over here. So you can just go ahead and copy this if you want to. Okay, so this is the dynamic hidden, the name, and the value. Okay, so as you can see, I have the title, URL, and ID. So once you are done with that, what you need to do is to click on the save button to save all of your changes. And one of the most important thing that you need to do is to go here at the email section, scroll down, and go to the message body part, okay? So here, let me put a space. So let's put the page title. So next is the URL. Last one is the page ID, okay? So here, what you need to put is this. Okay, so let me just go ahead and copy this part. Go to mail. Or you can simply manually type it, okay, if you want to. Put a bracket. Copy this. Paste it. Close it. And do that in all of the dynamic hidden that you have, okay? There. So I'm just going to delete this part and save it again, okay? So make sure that you click on the save button to save all of your changes. Okay, so now what you need to do is to just go ahead and go to your contact form. Try on filling in all of the needed section and once you are done with that just go ahead and check your email and all of these things this three should be in the email okay so that's it that is how you add dynamic fields to contact form 7 so i hope this video helped you and if it did make sure to like subscribe and hit the bell notification so you won't miss a video see you in the next one and have a great day